And we have breaking news. Sky 9 is live in Torrance where there's been a small plane crash. This is on Crenshaw Boulevard right by Torrance Airport. Now, the plane, believed to be a Cessna, crashed after departing from the airport. Looking at this image, it's, uh, you know, really a devastating crash here. And uh, we are still waiting for word on how many people were on board and whether or not uh, anyone was injured in this crash. Now, there have been some uh, reports that this was actually on top of a restaurant, but uh, it's uh, not possible from this vantage point to see uh, what kind of restaurant this might be. It looks uh, almost as though it's a, a parking structure there uh, near a strip mall. Actually, you can see firefighters on the scene, some up top on that rooftop, others down below now uh, putting some uh, foam on some uh, possible uh, plane parts that uh, ended up there on the ground, but certainly uh, a rough situation here. We do have someone on the phone now the assistant chief, Robert Malay, to give us an update. He's with uh, Torrance Fire. What can you tell us about this? Uh, so we got dispatched at a little after 12 o'clock. Uh, it looks like we got a small plane in the top of a building. We do have we do have one critical patient and one deceased at this time. Mm -hmm. Wow, and I know that uh, you know our viewing area is so large in uh, Torrance at the time. Were weather conditions unusual? Was there uh, fog or anything? Uh, Torrance at this time, it looks like a um, sunny day, 70 degrees, very minimal uh, cloud, looks like good visibility. Can you give us an idea how close this is to the airport? Uh, from right here, I'm on scene. I can see the Torrance airport to the west of me. Oh, okay. And as uh, Sky 9 zooms out a little bit, we can also see how close this is. And... Uh, Certainly a, a terrible thing to happen this morning that uh, one person has died, another in critical condition after this plane went down. Do you know at all um, if there was any type of call from the pilot reporting any kind of problems at the time? That I do not know. And I'm giving you, again, I'm trying to be transparent here. That's what I've heard so far. I haven't confirmed it, but I've heard the one critical one to see. As far as... Uh, calls to the tower or anything like that, I have not checked. Okay. Now, we were hearing that this actually landed perhaps on top of a restaurant. Do you do you know what this building is? It uh, looks like to the west, I see CPK. It did not go in there. There's some sort of barbecue place that it looked like it landed to, and I can't tell the name of the building that it actually hit on top of. Okay. And, and we see that the majority of the plane is actually on the uh, roof there, but uh, it looks like some uh, actually ended up on the ground below. Do you know if anyone on the ground was hurt? I mean, is that perhaps one of the people or the one deceased and one uh, injured? Were those folks on board or is that not clear yet? You know, that that's not clear yet. Okay, so certainly. So right now we're still controlling the scene. It looks like uh, possible fuel on the ground. So oh. we still have an active scene right now. Hopefully I'll be able to give you a clearer picture later. Okay, now we did see just a short time ago, it looked like some firefighters were putting some foam down below. I wasn't sure if that was because of the fuel or possibly from yeah. the other parts. Is that what's happening there? Yeah, that's just precautionary because of the fuel on the ground. Okay, and at this point, is it too early to ask you whether or not this plane was on its way to land or just taking off? Because, of course, that could make a difference in how much fuel it was actually carrying. Yeah, that, that won't be a, a question I'll be able to answer now at this time. Okay, well, we certainly appreciate the information that you could provide for us. Again, uh, we're hearing that one person is deceased, another in critical condition after a small plane crashed just afternoon this afternoon in Torrance. Of course, we will continue to have much more on this story later today as well as on CBSLA.com. We'll be right back.